everybody, it's Jess Elaine. I'm here today at uh, Michael Thompson's studio. Um, we're here to talk about his career, his studio setup, his use of the T-Rex pedals, um, and it'll be a lot of fun. As most of you probably know, Michael Thompson has done a lot of the major sessions for the past 30 somewhat years. Has worked with, a lot with David Foster, Shania Twain, Celine Dion, Joe Cocker, Babyface, Lionel Richie, and a lot of other people. So it'll be a lot of fun, make sure you check it out. So, uh, uh, Michael, tell us a little bit about how you uh, got into the music business and how you got started as a session guitar player. Um, I got started little by little. I, I got interested in recording when I was a teenager. Uh, the band I had had a manager who worked for RCA Records and on some downtime was able to get us in a real recording studio at um, when I was 16 and I just I got kind of hooked to the whole idea of um, recording I, I know a lot of guys that are in bands when they go in the studio they get the red light fever thing where they aren't really comfortable uh, recording it, to me it was the opposite I just love the whole idea of being able to overdub and create um, parts and stuff and so early on I, I had the dream of, of actually coming to LA and getting to do what I've ended up doing. I used to read Guitar Player magazine about uh, the, the LA studio scene and wonder what it was like and just I just was intrigued with the whole thing and, and um, so I set out to um, to do to, to get involved in, in recording and get sessions and stuff and I came out here and didn't know anyone and was able to uh, Little by little, just sort of get a little bit more known, word of mouth, do demos, do favors, do every little running around town to play on this and that. And, and uh, it, it took me the better part of, of the 80s to, uh, to get in position to be one of the cats, be one of the main recording guys playing on records. <laughs> to your gear we, we talked a little bit about what you were using before and what do you expect from your from your gear and what do you think stands out from the T-Rex gear what do you what do you like about the T-Rex gear um the Did thing you know? I like about all the T-Rex pedals I played are it's the musicality and the tone it all has a nice warm sound very Danish kind of thing I, th I think there's something because I've always loved TC stuff too um and the fact that the pedals all have that real quality sound, it's like it, it's adding to your sound. It never feels like when I hit any of the pedals that it was taking away from my, my sound. It all had that nice enhancing kind of quality, which to me is, is, is huge because you can end up using... Uh, when, what I look for in a pedal uh, a lot of the time is not a multi-pedal, like can I get this one pedal to do a lot of stuff... I'm just trying to get the one thing that that pedal really does, you know, like when I was showing the, the luxury drive before, I mean, that does one magical thing, which is boost the guitar signal and add some little highs and a little bit of grit, and it's just, you know, magical that the delay, it's just got that warm, nice repeat that has the modulation, that's all I'm looking for, you yeah. know, uh, from, from each pedal, that's why I end up having so many of them, because they're kind of one trick ponies, most of them, but it's a good thing. Like when I want that Andy Summers flange sound, I have that electric mistress that gets that, that sound. And I've got other flangers too that, that sound good for other things and stuff, but when I want that exact sound, I, uh, you know, it's like you know what you're going for, and when you hear it, I just catalog it like I have a library of, of sounds, uh, and I'm always looking for new ones. And uh, so, what are you working on these days? Uh, I know you have your new band, Native Son, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I, I have a band with um, John Robinson, JR, famous studio drummer, and a guy named Bobby Watson, original bass player for Rufus, and another guy, keyboard player, uh, named Mo Pleasure, Morris Pleasure, who was in the most recent uh, Michael Jackson, This Is It band, 
and a lot of other, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Ray Charles, all these people. Uh, and together we have a, a thing. It's an all instrumental, all original band. It's, it's a little more aggressive than a lot of the instrumental music that's out there. A lot of the stuff that's out there is what they call smooth jazz. And um, we're not smooth, but um, we have, we've just done an album that I'm real proud of. I'm looking forward to we're going to release it next month in August on uh, iTunes and just kind of take it little by little, try and build the thing into a uh, being able to go tour in Europe and, and Japan and other places. But uh, we're all really into it. All right. So um, with regards to what you do as a session guitar player, do you see that changing in the future? And, and you know that uh, a lot of things have changed in the last 10 or so yeah, years. Yeah. It's... Um, you have to be able to roll with... To me, the, the music is not... There's nothing new under the sun, you know? It's, my father told me when I was a kid that music just goes in cycles, you know? And it's really true. It's, there's, I'm really glad that I grew up in the era of uh, what they call classic rock now and stuff, learning all those songs, because it's just, to me, it just never got any better than that. That's why people are still listening to, to those records. And, and you can apply it to, you know, no matter what I'm playing on these days, whether it's a contemporary artist. I mean, I've had to do, uh, you know, if I'm working on Katy Perry's album or Sierra or one of these artists that are young, you know, today artists or whatever, I'm still just playing the way I'd play on anything. You know, it's not like anyone's doing some new music that I don't understand. Rock is rock. Funk is funk, you know. Pop is pop, and uh, it's really just your taste and your um, how you hear things. I mean, I tend to hear things as a sort of an arranger kind of thing because I I tend to approach every track like if this was my song, what would I play? You know, yeah. what would I play if this was for my solo record? Well, Michael, thank you very much for inviting us into your home, your studio, and All right. uh, you know, on behalf of the NTRX. We appreciate that you like the, the pedals. And oh, right, I, I do. I've enjoyed them. I'm looking forward to playing some more of their pedals. And, and uh, the, those first ones that I've added to my live pedal board have been, uh, they're just an instant, you know, winner for me. I just put them on the board. It's like, okay, that's going to stay. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, I believe you're going to have more updates about everything about you on michaelthompson.cc. Yeah, dot .cc. Uh, um, yeah, sure. Awesome. All right. We'll check in. Okay, cool.